Hello there dolls, my name is Charlene and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today I decided that I would film an Arabian inspired style makeup look. I really really like this type of look. I just feel like it's very flattering on the eyes and I think it just it gives like this mysterious, seductive look, if you will. I truly hope that you guys enjoy this video. I am doing a voiceover for this one. Let me know what you think about it down below. I would greatly appreciate any feedback that I can get. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It is Lean Glam Makeup. If you do try this look out, tag me on Instagram so I can see it. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. And please do not forget to subscribe. So the first thing that I'm taking is the Becca First Light Priming Filter and as you can see this has a lavender tone to it and it'll just help get rid of any dullness as well as brighten up our face and then I'm just going to be working that into my skin. Next, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance and this just adds a nice glow to the skin as well as adds a little bit more of hydration because my skin has been super dry and you don't have to use two separate primers. I am just targeting two separate issues. And then next, I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I believe this is in the shade Ginger and I'm going over any blemishes on my skin and then I'm going to blend that in with my finger as the warmth of my fingers just is really going to melt that product onto my skin. Next, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm using that on a Morphe beauty sponge. I do use my beauty sponge damp. You'd be surprised how many people actually don't know that and use it dry. I personally don't find the purpose of using a beauty sponge dry. I think it's just more effective when you use it damp. So just a little tip in case you didn't know. And I really love this foundation. It just gives me this nice dewy finish. And then next I am taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow. And this is in the shade Peach Fizz. And I'm going to the high points of my Base, and then I'm just going to blend that in once again with my fingers to give that nice subtle glow to my skin. I'm just taking my Maybelline Wonder Stick and I'm taking that contour side and just contouring my cheeks just the usual. Contour my forehead as well as my jawline. And then I'm just going to be blending that in once again with my Morphe Beauty Sponge. I am now going in with my absolute favorite concealer and it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer of course and I am just applying that in the upside down triangle and then I'm going to be applying that to my chin, the bridge of my nose and in between my brows. If you have not tried this concealer yet, like what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Go get it now because you're truly missing out. And I always like going super, super light underneath my eyes. You don't have to. You can go with something a little bit more closer to your skin tone. I just, I really like my under eyes to look 100 shades lighter than the rest of my face. So don't judge me. And then next I'm taking some of that concealer and applying it to my lids all the way up to my brow bone. To just prime up my eyelids for the eyeshadow. Uh, uh. 
And now I am going back into that wonder stick to the contour side and just contouring the sides of my nose because who am I if I don't contour my nose? And I'm just going to blend that out. I absolutely love this brush to blend out my nose contour. It's by Perfusion Cosmetics. And then I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light and just going all over my face to kind of just set everything in place avoiding my under eyes because I will be going in with a different powder next I'm taking the Lorac take me to Tantago I think that's how you pronounce it and I took both Tan Antonio and Tan Diego those both shades and I'm just going over where we originally contoured with the Maybelline Wonder Stick and I took that on a Luxie contouring brush and then I'm also emphasizing that nose contour as well and then I'm going in with my beauty sponge and just further blending so we don't have any harsh lines because we do not want that and then I'm taking the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose and Baking Setting Powder I think I'm saying that correctly it's in the shade Banana Bread and I'm going in with my Morphe Beauty Sponge to further emphasize that contour and just clean it up under there. Then I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love. I love this blush. Now I'm just dusting off all of that loose powder underneath our contour. Then I'm going back into that powder and just baking underneath our eyes. And this will also prevent any eyeshadow fallout from ruining our face makeup. And then I'm going in with the Ace Beauty Grandiose Palette. And I took that patchouli shade and I'm just applying that to my crease. Sorry if I'm completely pronouncing this all wrong. Next, I'm taking the cinnamon shade and also just going into my crease. And then next, I'm taking that shade Poppy and I'm applying that to the outer portion of my eyes and just bringing that out a little bit. Next, I'm going in with the Cover FX Glitter Drops in Nova and just applying that to my lids. And then I'm going to go back in with that poppy shade and just further blend on that outer portion of my eyes. And then I'm just going to go in with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Summer Haze. And now for the fun part of this look, at least for me it is, um, I'm taking the Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner and I'm just creating a dramatic wing. And then I'm going to be taking that line past our tear duct and just bringing that a little bit towards my lower lash line. But before we continue, I'm taking the shades Patchouli, Cinnamon, and Poppy once again on my lower lash line to just make the look look more put together. And then I'm going to go back into the Beauty Bakery liner and just go as close to my lower lash line as possible and run that through. And then I'm gonna coat my lashes with the Butter London Mascara before applying some falsies. And very quickly, I'm taking the House of Lashes in Iconic and just applying that real quick. And then I'm going into my NYX HC powder. By the way, I did dust off all the powder that was underneath our eyes but i'm going back into the nyx hd powder to kind of just brighten it up even more and then i'm taking my absolute favorite morphe liquid lipstick in fatty i mean this color is just gorgeous and i already see i'm going to be abusing this color in the summer because it's just it's beautiful and then i'm going in to the artist couture diamond glow powder in summer haze thank you so much for watching guys truly hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you all in my next one